Hey everybody, Mark Johnson here, founder and creative director of Able Abe Studios, back again with another episode of For the Love of Monday, episode number 46. In today's episode, I am reviewing an article that I found from the Entrepreneur Magazine. This one is entitled, How to Come Up with a Profitable Business Idea in Four Simple Steps. This article is written by Daniel De Piazza, founder and CEO of Rich20something.com. Most people get really anxious when it's time to start developing ideas for their business. Lots of people love the idea of brainstorming ideas, but never actually find an idea that they like enough to execute. It seems like there are two huge problems when it comes to developing an idea. Number one, they don't think they have any good ideas, so there's nothing they can possibly see succeeding. This is the guy who's always telling you about the new project he wants to start. Then you find out two weeks later, he's already abandoned it. Or we think we have too many ideas and we completely confuse as to which one we should run with long term. This is the guy who has always has 12 projects brewing at the same time, all in various stages of progress, none really done well. While these seem to be opposing concepts, they often ensnare us in the same dilemma, half starting and eventually quitting. So where should we be focusing our time and energy? The purpose of a business, the only reason it exists, in fact, is to solve a problem. You should be actively thinking of how you can solve other people's problems. On a day-to-day -day basis, you should be thinking about things you and others around you struggle with. Then find ways to solve those headaches through an idea, a device, a service, or a piece of software. Coming up with fresh ideas shouldn't be something that you just do once a year when you need some money. If you want to be an entrepreneur, you must fundamentally change the way you look at the world, always seeking out opportunities to serve other people and get paid in return. So these are the four places to look when you want to come up with a new business idea quickly. Hobbies and skills you're already good at. Everybody has something that they're good at. We don't appreciate the fact that the knowledge and the abilities we have at our disposal could be very valuable to someone else. For example, maybe you're bilingual or you can play an instrument. Perhaps you know how to organize the hell out of a closet. Maybe you're really good at cooking or building websites. You might even have successfully completed a few triathlons. All of those are things that other people want to be able to do for themselves, but in many cases can't. If you spent considerable time learning to do something, either in school, as an apprentice, as a hobby, or even as a recreational activity, that time has immense value. Rather than learning to do what you've done or putting in months or years of work grinding away, many people would be more than happy to pay you in order to get what they want much more quickly. Things you have done for work. Learned at work skills are a great place to look when fishing for your first profitable business idea. If you have ever held a job, that's proof you have at least one skill or idea that somebody is willing to pay money for. But here's the thing, there is no actual or innate value of a skill, service, or idea. Washing dishes could be a $7 hour skill or a $15 hour skill depending on whose plates you're washing. The skills you acquire along your journey are yours to use as you wish at a price that you command. Now, your job is just to identify which of your on-the-job skills is ripe for the picking. Start developing your idea and then find your customers. Things people ask you for. 
point here is that whether you realize it or not, we lean on experts to help us figure things out. And if people keep asking you for help, advice, insight in a particular area, there's a good chance that others look at you as the expert or go-to in their circle of influence. You have to start paying more attention to things that people ask you for. If someone's asking you to help them with something, your mind should immediately begin assessing whether this is something that could become profitable. Start paying more attention to the things that people require of you, then eventually you'll get paid to do the things that you should do for free. Things you want to learn. Remember, for someone who doesn't use computers much outside of Google and Facebook, even setting up a basic WordPress blog is damn near a mystical process. So start simple. And as your skill set improves, you will be able to charge more for your services, essentially paying yourself to learn how to build websites. So find a skill or an idea that you're a beginner in, but that you want to become really good at. Then gradually improve that skill set and find customers who are willing to pay you as you learn. It's like paying yourself to go to school for something that you actually care about. So there you have it, the four simple steps on how to come up with a profitable business idea. Again, this article came from The Entrepreneur Magazine. It was written by Daniel De Piazza. He is the founder and CEO of Rich20something.com. Hopefully this information has been helpful to you in some way. If so, give this video a thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing with the channel, definitely subscribe. And if any of these points stood out more than another, definitely leave that in the comment box below. It would be greatly appreciated. So thanks for watching.